What's up you guys, it's Deep over here and today I'm going to show you how to give this foil balloon effect to your text in Photoshop. Also if you want to learn how to do such cool things using Photoshop then smash that subscribe button if you haven't already. So without wasting any more time of yours, let's get started. So the first step over here we need to do is create a new document so for that go to file and then select option new. After that set the height as 1500 pixels, height as 1000 pixels and resolution as 72 pixels per inch and then click on OK. After that you can place any background of your choice but I will just like to go with a plain simple light grey solid color. So for that click on create new fill or adjustment layer icon and then select option solid color. After that select any color of your choice, I am setting it as this plain simple light grey color and then click on OK. After that we need to type in our text so for that select horizontal type tool and then select any font of your choice. The download link for the font I am using is in the description below. Also if you don't know how to install font in Photoshop the link for that is in the description as well. After that select any appropriate size for the font I am setting it as 1000 point and then set the foreground color as white which will be the color of our text and then click on OK. After that using horizontal type tool click on the document and then type in any text of your choice. I will be just typing a single letter for the simplicity of this tutorial. So let me just type it and then click on this tick icon to place it. After that we need to place this text at the center of the document so for that press ctrl and click on this background layer which will give you the selection of the background layer as well as keep the selection of the text layer. After that select move tool. And then click on align vertical centers and after that click on align horizontal centers. So now as you can see the text has been placed at the center of the document. Now after that make the text layer active by clicking on it. Now let's convert this text into a smart object. I will explain you the benefit of converting it into a smart object in the later part of the video. So now in order to convert it into a smart object right click on the text layer and then select option convert to smart object. Now we need to create 5 duplicates of this object so for that press ctrl plus j 5 times. Now once you have created the duplicates of the object after that make the original text layer active by clicking on it and then hide the rest of the duplicate text layer by clicking on the eye icon. So as you can see only one of the text layer is visible right now. Now the first thing I'll be starting with is by creating the shadows for our effect. Now let me just rename this layer to drop shadow. Now in order to add shadows for our effect all you need to do is click on add layer style option and then select option blending options. After that click on the drop shadow option and then set the blend mode of the shadow to multiply. Now after that click on the color icon. Now you can set the color of the shadows as a black color or else you can set any dark color of your choice. I will be setting it as dark brown color. Now the hash code for that color is 2B1600. After that click on OK. Now you can set the opacity as 50%. Untick this use global light option and then set the angle as 30 degree. After that set the distance as 45 pixels. Spread as 5% and then size as 30 pixels. After that set the contour as linear and then tick this anti alias option. So as you can see by adding these shadows our effect is looking somewhat like this. Now let me just show you the before and after. So this was the before and then this is the after. After that click on OK. Now after that the next thing we will be doing is creating the edge for our foil balloon effect and adding the color to our text. So for that make the first duplicate layer active by clicking on it and then unhide it by clicking on the icon. After that let's rename that layer as border ripple. Now in order to create the edge for a foil balloon effect click on add layer style option and then select option blending options. After that select bevel and emboss and then set the style as outer bevel, technique as chisel hard, set the depth as 100%, direction as up and then set the size to 14 pixels, soften to 0 pixel and then untick this use global light option. Set the angle as 30 degree, altitude as 25 degree. After that click on the drop down of the gloss contour. Now if you can't see the name of your gloss contour, all you need to do is click on this gear icon 
and then select option small list and after that the name of the counters will be visible now now after that you need to select the ring double counter and then take this anti alias option after that set the blend mode of the highlight mode as normal set its color as follows fff 4a4 and then click on okay after that set the opacity to 100% and then set the blend mode of the shadow mode to normal as well set its color as follows 694 f01 and then click on okay after that set its opacity to 100% as well so now as you can see we have added a nice edge and we have given the color to that edge as well but as you can see there is some still grayish color visible on the edge now in order to solve that thing select the stroke option and then set the size of the stroke to 14 pixels set its position as outside blend mode as normal opacity as 100% now set the color as follows dec 280 and then click on okay So now as you can see now we have converted that gray color into a nice yellowish color now let me just show you the before and after of this stroke so this was the before and then this is the after now after that let's give this text some nice yellowish color as well so for that select the color overlay option and then set the blend mode as normal and then set the color as follows d7a321 after that click on okay after that set the opacity to 100% as well now after that let's set some shadows to this layer as well so for that select the drop shadow option after that set the blend mode to multiply its color to black and then reduce its opacity to 35% untick this use global light option and then set the angle to 15 degree set the distance to 50 pixels spread to 25% and then size to 50 pixels and then set the counter as linear and then tick this anti alias option now let me just show you the before and after of this drop shadow so this was the before and now this is the after after that click on okay now in order to make a edge more realistic let's add some unevenness to it so for that go to filter and then distort and then select option ripple after that set the amount to 80% and then set the size as medium after that click on okay So as you can see after adding the ripple effect our edge is looking somewhat realistic now let's start with our next step so for that make the second duplicate layer active by clicking on it and then unhide it by clicking on the eye icon after that let me just rename that layer to emboss and then reduce the fill of this layer to 0% after that again click on add layer style option and then select option blending options after that select the inner shadow option and then set the blend mode of the inner shadow to multiply set the color as follows 644c01 and then click on okay after that set the opacity to 75% and then make sure that you have ticked the use global light option and then set the angle as 120 degree after that set the distance as 0 pixels set the choke to 50% and then set the size to 25 pixels After that set the counter to linear and then make sure you tick this anti alias option. Now let me just show you the before and after of this inner shadow option. So this was the before and then this is the after. Now after that let's add some shine to this inner shadow. So for that select the bevel and emboss option. After that set the style as inner bevel, technique as smooth, increase the depth to 125%, set the direction as up, size to 15 pixels. soften as 0 pixel untick this use global light option and then set the angle to minus 65 degrees set the altitude to 55 degrees and then click on the drop down of the gloss contour and then select the option ring double after that make sure you tick this anti alias option after that set the blend mode of the highlight mode to overlay set the color as follows f8 f5 c7 and then click on okay Reduce its opacity to 65%. Then set the blend mode of the shadow mode to overlay as well. And then set the color of the shadow mode as follows: C3974B. And then click on OK. Set the opacity of the shadow mode to 65% as well. Now after that, let me just show you the before and after of this bevel and emboss. So for that, let me just zoom into the image a little bit. So this was the before, and now this is the after. After that click on okay. 
Now after that the next step I will be doing is creating all the shadows which will be visible in a final foil balloon effect. So for that make the third duplicate layer active by clicking on it and then unhide it by clicking on the eye icon. Now let me just rename that layer as text shadow. After that reduce the fill of this layer to 0% as well. Now after that again click on add layer style option and then select option blending options. After that select the option bevel and emboss. Set the style as inner bevel, technique as smooth, depth as 85%, direction as down. Set the size to 40 pixels, soften to 0 pixel, untick this use global light option. Set the angle as 35 degrees and then set the altitude as 37 degrees. Now for this gloss counter, I have created one custom counter. Download link for that custom counter is in the description below. Now in order to load that custom counter over here, all you need to do is click on this drop down option and then click on this gear icon over here. After that select option load counters. Now after that you need to navigate to the path where you have downloaded and extracted the counter and after that select the shadows option from there and then select option load. Now once you have loaded the counter, after that click on the icon of the counter and then from the preset select option custom. So as you can see your counter should look something like this, after that click on ok. After that make sure you tick this anti alias option and then set the blend mode of the highlight mode to darken. Set the color as follows 221400 and then click on ok. After that set its opacity to 82% and then reduce the opacity of the shadow mode to 0%. After that select the counter option under the bevel and emboss and then click on the drop down in order to select a counter and then select option Gaussian. After that you make sure that you take this anti alias option and then reduce the range to 25%. So now let me just show you the before and after of this bevel and emboss. So this was the before. And then this is the after. So these are all the shadows which will be visible in our final foil balloon effect. Now let me just add some drop shadows as well. So for that click on this drop shadow option. After that set the blend mode as multiply, color as black, reduce the opacity to 15%. Untick this use global light option and then set the angle to 20 degree. Set the distance as 20 pixels, spread to 5%, size to 15 pixels. After that click on OK. Now after that the next step I will be doing is by creating all the highlights inside of the text that will be visible in a final foil balloon effect. So for that make the fourth duplicate layer active by clicking on it and then unhide it by clicking on the eye icon. And then let me just rename that layer as text reflection. After that you need to reduce the fill of this layer to 0% as well. And now let's start with our effect for creating highlights and reflections. So for that click on add layer style option and then select option blending options. After that select the bevel and emboss option. Set the style as inner bevel, technique as smooth, depth as 190%, direction as up, set the size to 45 pixels, soften as 0 pixel, untick this use global light option, set the angle as minus 31 degree. Set the altitude to 58 degrees and for this gloss counter as well I've created one more custom counter so for that click on the drop down over here and then again click on the gear icon and then select option load counters. After that navigate to that path again and then select option reflection from there and then select option load. After that you need to select the second custom counter your icon should look something like this let me just show you how this counter looks by clicking on the counter icon. So as you can see your counter should look something like this. After that click on OK. After that make sure you tick this anti alias option. Then set the blend mode of the highlight mode to overlay. Set the color of the highlight mode as follows. F E F C D C. And then click on OK. After that increase the opacity of the highlight mode to 100%. And then set the blend mode of the shadow mode to overlay as well. And then set the color mode of the shadow mode as follows. D7 B6 4 3 and then click on ok set the opacity of the shadow mode to 90% as well now let me just show you the before and after of this bevel and emboss so this was the before and then this is the after so as you can see we have created all the reflection and highlights now let's give some touch up to this as well so for that select the inner shadow option 
and then set the blend mode of the inner shadow to darker color after that set the color as follows 6a5102 and then click on okay after that set its opacity to 100% untick this use global light option and then set the angle to 164 degrees after that set the distance as 0 pixels set the choke as 45% and then set the size to 45 pixels after that click on okay so now as you can see our text has started looking like a foil balloon now let's give one more final touch up so for that make the fifth duplicate layer active by clicking on it and then unhide it by clicking on the eye icon and then let me just rename that layer to text ripple after that reduce the opacity of this layer to 0% as well and then again go to add layer style option and then select option blending options after that select option bevel and emboss and then set the style as inner bevel technique as chisel soft set the depth to 160% set the direction as up size as 30 pixels soften as 0 pixel untick this use global light option set the angle as 18 degree altitude as 21 degrees click on the drop down of this gloss contour and then from the option of the gloss contour select the option sawtooth one after that make sure you take this anti alias option after that set the blend mode of the highlight mode as normal color of the highlight mode as white increase the opacity of the highlight mode to 90% set the blend mode of the shadow mode to normal as well and then set the color of the shadow mode to white as well after that reduce the opacity of the shadow mode to 50% and then click on okay so now as you can see by adding this effect it is giving such a nice plastic y look now let's add some ripple over here as well so for that go to filter and then distort and then select option ripple after that set the amount as 80% and then set the size as medium and then click on okay so as you can see this plastic y look is somewhat looking more so let me just change the blend mode of this layer to soft light and then reduce the opacity of this layer to 18% So now as you can see now our foil balloon effect is now ready now let's give this foil balloon effect a nicer color so for that we need to merge all the text layers into a single group now since i said this text layer you need to exclude this drop shadow layer from it so for that press shift and then click on this border ripple layer which will give you the selection of the two layers that is the top layer and the border ripple layer and give you the selection of all the text layers that come in between those two layers After that press control plus G to merge all the selected layers into a single group. So now as you can see all the text layers have been merged into a single group. So now after that you need to click on create new fill or adjustment layer icon and then select option vibrance. After that set the vibrance as 5. Reduce the saturation to minus 95. After that click on create clipping mask icon so that this effect will only be applied to the group layer. After that minimize it. After that again click on create new fill or adjustment layer icon and then select option u saturation. After that again click on create clipping mask icon so that it only affects the group. Now after that click on this colorize checkbox. Now after that you can give any color of your choice to this balloon. Now this color is looking perfect for me but you can set the color accordingly. So now our foil balloon effect is now ready. Now as I promised let me just explain you the benefit of converting this text into a smart object. Now after doing all of these things what if someone tells you that we want this effect all together on a different text itself in order to accommodate that change double click on the icon of the smart object layer so as you can see there will be one pop up after that click on okay so now as you can see we will have the text all together into a new document now in order to change the text double click on this t icon and then let me just change this text to some another letter Now once that is done click on this tick icon after that press control or command on mac plus s in order to save this changes now once this changes have been saved after that you can close this document so now as you can see once we made the changes on the text on that document and saved it it has been applied over here and all the effects which we had applied over here it has been applied over here too as well so yeah by converting it into a smart objects makes the process of changing the text later a much simpler task So yeah that's it guys hope you guys like this video on how to give this foil balloon effect to your text in photoshop now if you guys like this video then hit the like button also share it to the ones who might be interested in such videos 
and subscribe to the channel for more videos in Photoshop. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.